So we recently put out a video of the top five mango varieties for 2017. And a few people asked me what are my favorite varieties. And there are a lot, but I'll highlight some of them. These will be in no particular order as far as preference because of two things. One, it depends on the year as far as, you know, what variety might taste better one year than another. And the timing, I, what's part of the season is the um, mango that you're tasting. Like uh, if you're tasting an early Duncan versus a late Duncan, early Florigon versus a late Florigon, or early Kit versus a late Kit, those mangoes, the late mangoes of Kit, Florigon, and Duncan are significantly better than the early ones. The very first variety of mango that I'd like to mention is this one. This is a Mulgoba, a crazy big tree, and a crazy good mango. It's a variety that has been in Florida for over a hundred years. It's about a hundred and, let's see, do the math quickly, 25 years. It's a fairly rare mango because of two things. One is that it doesn't handle well. It's so delicate. It bruises easily, no fiber, which means great eating quality. And the second reason that it's not a really popular mango to, to uh, grow is that not every year is a strong year. And in fact, it has a really good year, maybe one out of 15 years. The other years, uh, you might just have one part of the tree fruiting. But Mulgoba is a great mango, very unique, refreshing flavor, high quality, and so definitely makes the list. The Big Jim is another variety that makes my list of top mango varieties. It uh, happens to be a seedling of Mulgoba. It's a larger fruit, more productive, has a little bit different flavor, has some fiber, and uh, but it's not crazy amount of fiber, and I just like it a lot. So Edward also makes a list. It's a great Florida mango, sweet, fiberless, rich flavor, very popular, and yes, I like it too. <laughs> so. Jacqueline's also on my list. It's a great mango, cross between Bombay and Hayden. Just has a real rich flavor and nice large fruit, colorful, but you know, I don't really care about the color. I go for the taste and this one definitely makes the list. Best also makes the list. Funny that this is nicknamed best because I don't believe in a best mango. There are just so many great mangoes that, that you cannot just have one best. But years ago, I planted a bunch of interesting seeds along the fence to create a hedge. And out of all of these trees here, this one was the best variety. It's got a huge trunk back here. Oh, you can probably sort of see it. It's a vigorous tree. The fruit are pretty big and they are delicious. Dwarf lion makes the list. It's our second earliest variety. The fruit have just a real rich flavor. I like them slightly underripe or pureed. They are great when pureed with other varieties of mangoes or by themselves or with other fruits and vegetables. It's just a very nice mango. Brian's another one of my favorite. It's a variety that fruits very well here, especially this last year. Large fruit, very rich and refreshing flavor. In some areas it doesn't produce well, I don't know why, but Brian is a great mango. So here's Carrie, love this mango also. It made our the top of our top five mango varieties. Every year the fruit are plentiful and taste great. No fiber in the flesh, 
has a rich Indian mango flavor. So Pram Kai Mia is a variety from Thailand, great mango, no fiber, deep orange flesh, super sweet, and it has a flavor that is really like no other mango. So that one's one of my favorites also. This is Beverly, one of my favorite late season mangoes. It's got sort of a hint of apricot or orange flavor depending on the level of ripeness. There's something about Beverly that is just very enjoyable. So, Neelum is just a small mango, but it's super sweet. I like it a lot, especially the second crop, which sometimes can be as late as October. So, I always appreciate a small mango because it's easy to enjoy it and then leave room for other mangoes. But Neelum also is a great, even better mango when there is no other mango around. <laughs> Malik is a great mango too in my book. This last season, the fruit were amazing. There's just a complexity of flavor that a lot of mangoes don't have. Malik has this year started out tasting like a carry mango in the beginning of the flavor, and then the end of the flavor was an intense melon flavor. Really good. So I love Bailey's Marvel too. It's very similar to Jacqueline, sort of has the same parents there, but it's just a big, beautiful, delicious mango, has a traditional Indian mango flavor, very sweet, and little or no fiber. Bombay's one of my favorite mangoes too. It's a small mango, no fiber, very sweet, great Indian type flavor. I've got to include Julie on the list too. It's a great little mango, uh, rich Indian flavor. So lemon meringue's on the list too. It's a little mango, no fiber, nice citrus flavor, just very unique, very refreshing, and I like it. Coconut cream's got to be on my favorite list too. Super sweet, no fiber, coconut flavored mango, just really delicious. So Valencia Pride is one of my favorites too. It's a large mango and just is full of flavor, has a little hint of orange flavor to it. A mango season wouldn't be complete without tasting a Valencia Pride. So I love Gary Mango too. It's a small fruit, no fiber, sweet coconut flavor. The 2017 was our first year for Ugly Betty. I was so impressed by the fruit that I have top worked a pretty large tree to Ugly Betty also. It's a big fruit, no fiber, rich Indian mango flavor. That was a list of uh, some of my favorite varieties for 2017. Not all of our varieties fruited this past season. And so next year, my favorite varieties will include a lot of the new uh, varieties from especially Gary Zill. And so I'm looking forward to tasting those. I'll give you my opinion of them, of course, uh, hopefully in 2018, hoping that we have a lot of mangoes for some of these varieties. Also, as I'm going through each tree in my brain, I know that it's the there are some of the varieties that are really good that I just forgot to mention. So it's sort of like the actor who wins the Academy Award and you know he or she thanks his you know agent, the director of the movie, the secretary, the person that got the coffee in the morning, the person who you know filled the gas tank up and it goes through, make sure that he or she thanks everybody who's involved in the movie and in their career. You know, they thank the third grade teacher. And then after getting off the stage, he or she remembers that he did not remember to thank his parents. So anyway, I know there's some really great mangoes that I just forgot to mention. So those are my favorite 
varieties. I'd love to hear what your favorite varieties are also and why. Just leave them in the comments section down below.